That was really beautiful, Meredith. Beautiful. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Hi, I... John. Hello, Daddy. Well, I can see by your face you've had trouble today, huh? Trouble? Have you ever been to the zoological gardens? Sure. Rather enjoyed it, as I remember. Yeah? Well, you didn't have to cart along an intractable child, did you? Oh, you had to take snooks, huh? Couldn't get out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Part of her homework was to write a composition on animals, so her teacher suggested a visit to the zoological gardens. Well, I was elected to take her. Well, this is the place, Snooks. What place? The zoological gardens. Well, where's the flowers? These gardens don't have flowers. Just animals, fish, and birds. Do the animals fish for birds? Animals don't fish for anything. They keep them in cages. The fish? No, the animals. The fish are kept in a building called an aquarium. The birds are in the aviary. That's a birdhouse. Do they keep the bugs in the bug house? <laughs> sure. Put that in your broken down composition. Come on, let's go inside. Can I go in the lion's cage? No. I want to go in the lion's cage. Snooks. <laughs> I want to go in the lion's cage. Now listen to me, Snooks. I don't get any pleasure out of bringing you here. And if you give me the slightest bit of trouble, I'll take you right home. If I'm good, will you let me go in the lion's cage? No, I didn't bring you to the zoological gardens to be devoured by a lion. Why? I'll give $25 and a set of encyclopedia if anybody can answer that. <laughs> Nothing. Have you got a pencil and paper? Yes, Daddy. I want you to make plenty of notes so your composition will be easy to write. Now, follow me. Where's the fishes, Daddy? At the other end. First, we'll look at the animals. And you can put down your observations. Then can we see the fishes? Yes. Now, don't get too close to this cage. I think there's a tiger in it. Mm. It's only a big pussy cat, Daddy. Snooks! Don't pull his tail! Why? Come back! You want to get sideswiped by his paw? Huh? He'll reach out with that heavy paw and sweep you right into his huge maw. I don't see his paw and maw. Now, paw and maw, start making some notes. It's called Felis Tigris, mm -hmm. or Bengal Tiger. Almost ten feet long, and he smacks with his paw and eats with his maw. Uh-huh. What'd you put down? The tiger's got ten feet and smacks his paw and eats his maw. I didn't say that. Cross it out. Now can we see the fishes? Are you supposed to include fish in your composition? No. Then why are you so eager to see them? Because I brought this goldfish with me. Snooks! Is that from our goldfish bowl? Yes. He looks so lonesome, Daddy. Oh! Have you been carrying him in your pocket all this time? Uh-huh. Don't you know a fish can't live out of the water? That's all right. I've been spitting on them. <laughs> Put him in that puddle, quick. Mm. He's swimming. Well, thank heaven he's still alive. I'll deal with you later for that. Come on. Well, what's in this case, Daddy? Oh, you know what that is. Just read the sign. D-E-E-R. What's that? Frog. <laughs> frog? <laughs> does that thing look like a frog? D-E-E-R? What does Mommy call me most of the time? <laughs> I didn't know which skunk had horns. <laughs> It's a deer. And the feeling is mutual. Shall I put that down, Daddy? No. But you might mention a little about the deer family. Uh-huh. All deer are members of the Cervidae in the section Picora of the suborder Arteodactyla of the order Ungulata with antlers supported on a solid pedicle arising from the frontal process of the head. You got that? Uh-huh. How do you spell head? <laughs> Oh, you're not even listening to me. You talk too fast, Daddy. Oh, just say they look like elks. That's good enough. Where's the elk? In the next cage. Start singing, Daddy. Singing? What for? Maybe they'll give us a bird to take home. What on earth are you talking about? Well, Mommy said when you sang for the elks, they gave you the bird. <laughs> Never you mind what Mommy said. Now, 
Boy, I can't wait till they raise the draft age. <laughs> Come on, people. I didn't want nothing, Daddy. No, you're too busy rubbing salt in my wounds. Well, here's a rabbit hutch. Make some notes about rabbits. Why? Well, it's almost Easter, and it'll give your homework a topical flavor. Now, go on. Write something down. What shall I say, Daddy? There's the rabbits. Look at them and say what you like. Shall I say the bunnies lay Easter eggs? No. Why? Because rabbits don't lay eggs at all. Only chickens. Chicken lay rabbit eggs? <laughs> no, chicken eggs. Rabbits lay chicken eggs? I told you rabbits don't lay eggs. Well, how are the little rabbits born? The stork brings the baby rabbits. Well, who brings the baby stork? I don't know. Why? Oh, leave me alone. Just say rabbits have a lot of babies at one time, and the mother rabbit is called the doe, the father rabbit is called the jack. And the babies are called the jackpot. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Put it down. Can you think of anything else? Ain't that enough? You haven't even described the rabbit's appearance. No. Say he's small and furry, with a tail like a powder puff. And his nose is shiny, too. Yeah, his nose is shiny, too. Why? How do I know? Is it because he's part of puppy on the wrong end? <laughs> Put that down, too. Right. Let's give the aquarium the once over, and then we go home. I'll educate you. Here's the elephants, Daddy. Yeah, keep walking. I want to feed them some peanuts. Let them get their own peanuts. Keep walking. Look at the sheep, Daddy. I see them. You know, I think sheep is the dumbest animals in the world. Don't you, Daddy? Yes, my lamb. Keep walking. <laughs> I want to get out of this dump as soon as possible. So, Mummy said I got the bird, did she? I'm a skunk, eh? Wait till I get home. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Up if you don't do oh keep quiet. <laughs> well, here's the aquarium. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Well, what is it? There's Aunt Sophie swimming in a big pool. <laughs> That's a seal, Aunt Sophie. What's he clapping his hands for? Oh, he probably wants to have somebody throw him a fish. I'll throw him my composition. Sue! <laughs> Why did you throw your notes in there? I don't know. Oh, what's the matter with you? You forced me to bring you here so you can write that stuff. You torture me all day, and now you throw the fruits of my labor to the seals. I didn't throw no fruit. I don't care. You shouldn't have done it. Shall I turn over, Daddy? Oh, Maybe I've been too cross with you. I'll listen, Snooks. <laughs> How many times have I told you when you feel tempted to do something evil like that, you should say, Satan, get behind me. Why? Because as soon as you say that, you'll be able to resist temptation. Will I? Well, of course. I'll prove it to you. Here's my hat. Mm -hmm. Now walk up to that pool with it. All right, Daddy. Oh! She jumped in! Oh, get me up, Daddy! Oh, wait a minute! Come here, I got you. Now hang on to my arm. Ah. There, look, you're dripping wet. I want to go home, Daddy. Why did you jump into the water with my hat? I couldn't help it, Daddy. You couldn't help it? No. Didn't I just say that if you felt tempted to say, get behind me, Satan? I said it. Well? He got behind me and pushed me right in the boat. <laughs> 